Akal Teki, a horse of history, a horse with heart. One of the most ancient and unique breeds of the world is the Akal Teki. The Akal Teki is the most distinct strain of ancient race of horses known as the Turkoman or Turkmen. Both physical and written evidence points to horses very similar to today's Akal Teki living while mammoths were alive. Poets and historians have written of these horses over the millennia, praising their elegance, strength, stamina, and beauty. In 101 BC, the Han Chinese under Wu Ti were so impressed by the heavenly horses that they tried to buy a stallion for a horse of pure gold. When this offer was rejected, they sent an army of 80,000 into ancient Turkmenistan and came home with 30 purebred horses and approximately 3,000 partbreds. When Marco Polo traveled the Silk Road through what is now Turkmenistan on his way to Cathay, he wrote of good Turkoman horses in his famous writings. The modern representative of these ancient horses takes its name from the Akal Oasis by the Teki tribe. Located in southern Turkmenistan, the Akal Oasis is an area that was not subjected to continual conquest or occupation. This isolation, along with the great pride the Teki tribesmen took in the purity of their horses, has produced a breed of ancient lineage and great purity. The history of the Akal Teki is tied to the wars that swept through their homeland time and time again. Mongol invasions in the time of Genghis Khan divided the Turkmen into small clans and pushed them into the deserts. They took their horses with them into the deserts, treating them as part of the family and developing a specific regime of care, including blanketing with many layers of felts, which not only protected the horses from the biting cold and stinging flies, but also was said to increase the metallic shine of the horse's coat. It's been hypothesized that the metallic golden glow would help the horses disappear into the treeless steppes. Because of their desert heritage, they've been known to exist on subsistence levels of food and water. At one point, there were estimated to be over 100,000 Turkmen horses in Central Asia. Wars, famines, and selling horses to other countries brought their numbers down to dangerously low levels. Horse breeders across Asia and Europe prized the Turkoman horse for crossbreeding. It's said that Byerly Turk, one of the foundation stallions of the thoroughbred breed, was an Akal Teki and that Darley Arabian was one of the strains of Arabians that had Turkoman blood in them. Before the Russian Revolution of 1917, most Turkmen families owned at least one horse. They depended on their horses for transport, battle, and companionship. Their horses were tethered to the family tent, and fed and blanketed with layers of felt, winter and summer. The horse would be decorated with necklaces and breast collars made of semi-precious stones and metals some of which were considered to protect horse and rider from evil spirits. Even into the 1900s, the horse has been both a contributor and a victim of unsettled economic, political, and war influences in Turkmenistan and Russia. In 
In the 1960s, the world was reminded of the greatness of the Akulteki, as Sergei Filatov and the black Akulteki stallion Absent won an Olympic gold medal in dressage for Russia. Absent went on to win medals in two more Olympic Games and was named Horse of the World by the Association of Equestrian Journalists. Akultekis were competing in other sporting events from this time on, but the numbers of this lovely breed were still very low. It was estimated that there were only about 3,000 purebred horses in the world at this time. But breeders from all over Europe and Asia were starting stud farms, from Uzbekistan to Germany. In 1979, the first Akulteki stallion was imported into North America, and today there are about 400 purebred horses here, with more being imported and born each year. The Akulteki is a true desert-bred horse with a light, elegant build and a distinctive conformation among horse breeds. It's characterized with a long, tapering, aristocratic face, expressive eyes, wide nostrils and mobile ears, a proud countenance and fiery gaze. Set on high but excellent shoulders, their necks are long and thin and is typically narrow through the chest. Its conformation provides riders with an exceptionally comfortable ride. The mane and forelock are typically short and sparse, and its coat short, fine, and silky. Their lean appearance is entirely natural. These are athletes, bred and conditioned for minimal fat and maximum strength. What may be one of the most noticeable and eye-catching characteristics among horse breeds is their coat, unique among horse breeds which bears a metallic sheen to it, which glistens in the sunlight. Its overall appearance is that of an athletic, lean, graceful and flowing horse that covers ground in a smooth and gliding stride. Perhaps tempered and hardened by its desert roots, the Akulteki has survived, although its low numbers in the world make it an endangered breed still today. But owners of this breed are among some of the most passionate about their breed to be found anywhere. Besides its historical significance, owners and breeders lavish high praise on the horse's intelligence, sensitivity, athleticism, elegant beauty, and sensibility. They learn quickly, are personable, and enjoy the company of people, making them excellent companions. Owners have found them to excel at many disciplines, including dressage, Endurance Riding Trail Riding
eventing, Carriage driving, jumping, and in their native homeland, racing, where the average race is over two miles long. As you will see, these athletic horses excel in the sport of racing as they glide smoothly around the track at incredible speeds. Recently, Akultecki owners had the opportunity to exhibit these exceptional horses at the premier horse park in North America, the Kentucky Horse Park. Visitors were both thrilled and amazed to discover a breed very few have seen before on this continent.
you be very, very careful with him when you come to meet him at Rickside. He may just nuzzle you to death. He loves to be petted. He loves to be around humans. Yes, they are unique. I have been told that they are called hooded. Because the area of the world from which these verses come is such a desert that the hooding helps to keep the sand from bothering the eyes. They also displayed for visitors to the park exhibits on the horse, including a genuine and full-size yurt, a felt-covered mobile structure used for housing by the nomadic people of the Akultekis homeland. The stewards of the breed in North America are passionate about this horse. They have both experienced and learned of the exceptional attributes of this breed. Its exceptional intelligence, personality, athleticism, its people-friendly temperament. They're driven by not only a mission to preserve a breed where fewer than 3,000 exist in the world and only 400 in North America, but to educate and promote the exceptional attributes and suitability of this special breed. There's a popular expression among owners that you start out owning an Akultekie, but they soon own you. If intelligence, athleticism, personality, temperament, and heart are important attributes you look for in a horse, you need to take a closer look at this exceptional and rare breed that has provided centuries of service for many civilizations. Discover the secrets of the Akultekie and contact one of the stewards of the breed to learn more about this exceptional horse. The Akultekie, a horse of history a horse with heart.